you mentioned over uh, a quarter of a century that Morgan State went without a program. Monday comes in last year, it only got the Bears to a 2-19 record, but you see that bottom line there, James. They've got the funding, they've got excitement in Baltimore to bring wrestling back to the only HBCU that offers it nationwide. Absolutely, so now they can wrestle at D1. Morgan State working to make their names known tonight, and this is a big opportunity versus the Maryland Terrapins to do just that. I mentioned the Terrapins, James. There's our probable wrestlers there. One thing that really stuck out to both of us is 149. It's Michael Bazzuto making his season debut against Aaron Turner. Yeah, I was expecting to see Cal Miller, who's had a great start to his season so far, staying undefeated in dual meets. And that's going to be kind of shocking to see what Pizzuto can come out and do at that 149 weight class. See the four ranked wrestlers for Maryland, and it would have been a five Millers there. But head coach Alex comes in, he likes what he has with this 10 for the Terrapins. Absolutely, Ryan. Clemson has helped this team to get back two multi-double uh, wins last year in dual meets first Big Ten competition. Sixth year for Clemson, and Maryland's looking to start 4-0 for just the second time in his tenure. They did so as well two years ago. Just about to get started here between Morgan State and Maryland. Should be a fun one. It's an in-state clash in the second time in the last two years that we've seen the Bears go against the Terrapins. Yeah, and this one's interesting. I mean, they got two decision wins last time, totaling six points, but the Terps had over 30. I think Morgan State is hoping to rewrite a little bit of history and get more than two wins tonight. You see the starters just being introduced here between the Bears and the Terrapins. Already looked at those probables. We'll see what comes of it. Just moments away between Morgan State and Maryland. Mentioned Morgan State, 2 and 19 last season, 1 and 4 this year. They picked up a win against Marymount before losing two straight. So between the Terps and the Bears, this is a good moment too for Kenny Monday's squad, James, just to be exposed to Big Ten wrestling, especially one so close to home, just coming down from Baltimore. I was going to say early on, this is just great for this program to have to face a team like Maryland. A lot of ranked guys on this program. Right now, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five guys in their starting lineup of a total of 10 wrestlers. 50% of their starting lineup is ranked nationally. So if anybody from Morgan State wants to have their name known tonight, this is not a great opportunity to do just that. As it looks like we're about to get underway here with 125s, Ryan. Just as you mentioned, we'll start at 125 at top, and we already talked about Tyler Garvin, the freshman from Rising Sun, Maryland. It's going up here against Julian Dawson for Morgan State. And Ryan, here's a guy in Garvin that's never lost a high school match. So coming into college, he's transitioned and kept that up so far. Monday in Morgan State, the counter, as we mentioned with Dawson, a sophomore from Edison, New Jersey, and Edison High School. 2-0 so far in the most two recent matches for Morgan State. Look through this. Here, Garvin starts Look through this. Yeah, Garvin Break working on the reverse headlock there. Referee's going to call him back up set. to get set again. See the quick call there on the stalemate. Going against Garvin and Dawson. And Garvin trying to get that drag into the headlock there again. He's pulling, but here we go. Dawson getting some early steam, trying to get the single leg. At the left leg. Now into over top position. Back at the shoulders. Good start for Dawson so far. Well, building that base for Dawson as well, you see. Getting up to his feet, and another stalemate's called between Garvin and Dawson. Yeah, two early on stalemates here, but that just shows you both these wrestlers are kind of getting in control, but defensively, it's hard to turn the other one over and actually get a point out of it, as it looks like Dawson might pick up a point here. Dawson goes for the left leg. Garvin tries to build his base. Dawson. Firm grip on the right leg, try not to lose it. Had that ankle there. Garvin gets out. Garvin goes quick in from the top. Garvin tries to spin around. There you go, he may get the takedown here, Ryan. Nothing yet. All around, and as you mentioned, James, the takedown comes from Tyler Garvin. First so far of the bout. Yeah, Garvin was working on that single leg takedown, ends up going for the upper torso and, and gets Dawson on the ground there for the first points of this first match tonight. Two and two so far on this season is Tyler Garvin. Both coming via dual decisions. After the takedown, riding time starts, as you see, climbing into Garvin's favor. Coach Alex Clemson called 
Tyler Garvin, okay, the Work best the public school kid in Maryland. Work Getting him was a priority at the flagship school. Really interesting in this 125 here as Garvin just continues to add on the riding time. It is Work three score, freshman man. wrestlers at 125 for Maryland. And Garvin's really separated himself, James. It's, it was Alex Clemson, head coach for Maryland, who said it's like that dilemma when you have two quarterbacks, you don't even have one. But Garvin's saying, James, he wants to be that signal caller for Maryland this season. Yeah, and he's done that so far, Ryan. I mean, in dual meets so far, he's 2-0. Oh, yeah. So th this is another opportunity for him to keep that record going and stay undefeated Starting in dual meets in one. college, too, like he did in high school. Up to a minute of riding time for Garvin. And that comes significant at the end Working of these the matches, too. You here. get that one point at the end, Ryan. So right now, if the match stays where it is, he's going to have four and not three at the end of the match. Mm. So that can be significant versus a, you know, a difference between a, a regular decision and, and one by major, one by tech fall. Yeah. Final 10 seconds of the first period. That's been all Garvin so far. You know, close to 90 seconds of riding time as this one nears the first whistle. Garvin will end off minute 36 of riding time. He'll choose to start on the bottom looking for the escape point. And James will take another look at that takedown for Garvin. Yeah, here we go, gets that torso. Doesn't really need to grab either one of the legs, gets the takedown. Has both hands on the mat and a knee down. That's enough for the takedown. Garvin chooses to start on bottom. And he's looking for that escape point. Fighting with the right hand. Move. And we saw Dawson really start off early. Oh, Strong. That's going to... There it is from Garvin. Gets the escape point. Now he'll look for another takedown. For Dawson, only took about 15 seconds off of Garvin's riding time. Both these guys trying to control the wrists here. So critical on the takedowns and being able to shoot low as well as grab that headlock we saw earlier. As that's a single leg right here. Single leg shot for Garvin. On Dawson's right, you see him building from the back. And to pull it in. We were talking with Garvin after the try meet against Bucknell and Kent State. And James, he said he just wants to put on a show for these home fans. Again, a local kid from Rising Sun, just about 90 minutes northeast of Maryland as Garvin gets another takedown. 7-0 in the favor of the freshman. Not unfamiliar to competition in Garvin. I mean, One minute, guys, one minute. Like you said, this is a guy that wants to show Maryland not only where he's from, but in, at the collegiate level and prove himself. As he's done that so far in this match, Ryan. Two takedowns and an escape score, already for guys. Garvin. Through the first three minutes of change. And he's just tacking on the riding time right now, as you can see under the Maryland. Three-time Maryland here. State champion, now wearing the red, black, and gold on his back. Garvin's going for a pin here, Ryan. He's going to try and turn it over. Pull it down. You see the shoulders coming. it would be the first of his young career for Garvin. You see really working on the right shoulder of Dawson. He's got that left arm locked in there. Once you get it behind the back, it's not much Dawson can do. Only about 15 seconds until that clock will free Dawson. Can he hang on until then in this second period? Bottom man, bottom man. Stall warning. Garvin pushing Just, forward. Looks like a stalling warning, Ryan. Mm. Just a couple seconds left. Not going to be a point, though. <laughs> Zero after that extra point awarded. Morgan State, it's your choice. Dawson gets bailed out a little bit there, too. We'll see again okay, how other points come for Tyler Garvin. Absolutely. Here you go. On the line, on the line. Trying to work that torso. Garvin just picking at that Set. arm of Dawson. Trying to turn him over. Wasn't able to do it there and get the points he wanted. Both the wrestlers start neutral. Julian Dawson looking for his first points of the bout. And soon here, riding time is going to be secured, Ryan, giving them the point. Once we get to that 127 mark. 128, excuse me. That's the Watch last ahead, opportunity. Dawson had a decision win over VMI and a fall over Marymount earlier this year. Here you go, another single leg here. Gets that arm of Dawson in there. And Dawson's left arm holding his knee is the only thing keeping him up Building right now. the base, he'll swipe at the right leg. Well defended by Julian Dawson. But now it looks like Dawson's going to try and get a reversal here because he's the one that chose to stay in bounds, Ryan. Riding time in effect for Tyler Garvin. Uh, no, yep, Sorry. just went out of bounds there. We're going to put these two back in the middle. Take a look at this swipe with the right leg. Garvin gets Dawson to the mat. Yeah, Dawson does a good job keeping Garvin a good distance away, though, but riding time point secured. 
So as of now, this would be including the riding time point. 9-0 in favor of Tyler Garvin. Major decision territory for the freshman. Yep, that would award them a quick four points if Maryland can stay where it is, but the match is not over yet, Ryan. Wrap around from Garvin. Still nothing in the final minute Three. of the period. Another takedown for Tyler Garvin. He's up. Still win. And Garvin Still could win. points. Hey, yeah, and Ryan, and Garvin could end up getting a tech fall win if he, if he keeps the energy up, but there's a an escape point there for Dawson. He still wants more, going for Dawson's left leg. Garson trying to power through with an 11-1 advantage. And for the escape point as well from Dawson. Dawson is trying to run away. Another takedown from Tyler Garvin. Improve. And Coach Clemson Improve. telling Garvin Improve. to push the envelope. Mitchell. There's 20 seconds left. He can get the tech ball. He wants to see him get the tech ball, as you mentioned. This would already be Garvin's first win by bonus points. He gets the extra takedown, and he gets the tech ball for Tyler Garvin. The local kid puts his hands in the air. Tyler Garvin, his first win by bonus points. It goes to Tech Ball against Julian Dawson. Yeah, and how about that, Ryan? Getting your first bonus point win as a Terp here at Xfinity Center in College Park. College Park, get to know the name Tyler Garvin. You see there that final takedown to make it happen. 18 to 1. Tyler Garvin takes it. Now it looks like, I mean, next up, Ryan, we're going to see a ranked matchup for one side of the map. About the play from Tyler Garvin. Again, rising Sun Maryland makes the quick trip down to College Park. And he's been everything Alex Clemson has wanted and more out of the true freshman. It's a hungry kid that wants to fight for his spot, Ryan. Doesn't think anything's given to him and, and certainly proved that out here tonight so far. It does not get any easier for Morgan State, though, as you see the number 13 next to Braxton Brown's name. 5-1 this year, Brown is going up against Kevin Lopez, the senior from Long Beach, New York, and Long Beach High School. And Brown had a just a, off the bat a tough start to the season. Brown picks him up and throws down Lopez. An emphatic first takedown from Braxton Brown. Yeah, a lot of height on that. You don't see that too much on takedowns. It's usually a lower, sort of keep a low frame to get these takedowns. That one. Braxton Brown unorthodox there. Remember Braxton Brown started last year as a 125, but in the words of head coach Alex Clemson, you don't starve a racehorse. And Braxton Brown getting stronger makes the jump up to 133. And that's the kind of strength that you just saw there, picking up Lopez and getting the emphatic three points. One of the most gritty guys on this squad always comes out with those nail-biting wins. Score. Redshirt Jr. from Allen, Texas. Again, we mentioned Maryland picked up a 35-6 win at Morgan State last season. And Brown was a star in that one, too, earning the fall over Sean Wren at 133 against the Bears. And Braxton Brown, BB, is known on the team. A two-time NCAA qualifier, one of five last year. Uh, this guy is not shy to spotlight, Ryan. Brown, 5-1 and one on the season. His only loss came in the finals of the Tiger-style Invitational in Kansas City, Missouri. That's one of those tough ones, too. I believe Cal Miller picked up his first Tiger-style Invitational in the uh, last year in Missouri at his hometown. Ethan Miller, his older brother, won it this year. We'll see Ethan in a little bit potentially, Improve. but for now at 133, Braxton Brown adding on the riding time close to 90 seconds on the count in his first period. He's just such a tough guy to contain. I mean, going up against Braxton Somebody Brown, you better expect Working it's going to be a guys. long night for you or a real short one. Either way, it's not usually a win for the other guy. Let me start things in the middle off the stalemate. Brown starts on top, and it's Kevin Lopez okay. looking for the escape point. Brown's coming off of a tech time. fall 15-0 win at American oh, against the Eagles as Shamil Palmato. Switch sides, switch sides, help me out, switch sides. Here we go. All right, so Set. it's Lopez, console James, who will pick up the escape point, and they'll start just neutral here. That matters right now, Ryan, but let Braxton Brown get you down to the ground again. It could be game over. Still early on in this first period, though. Brown looking in, the Allen, Texas native and Allen High School graduate. Looking around, how about those hands, too, from Kevin working Lopez? Store, He's lower store. weight class, especially 125, Keep 33. Keep They're going to try and use that speed and quickness mm -hmm. at their weight classes. You got Keep that right clean, 100%, Ryan. Got to be more like a flyweight. It's not so much about the strength as it is about being elusive and being quick as Brown tries a single leg here. Goes up and puts down Lopez. Three points for Braxton Brown. 
And that's just a showcase of the strength of Brown. He's, he's putting these guys up in the air. I just talked about how you don't really have to be the strongest at 133. It's more about being elusive and being quick-minded. But for Brown, he's, he's proven me wrong right now, Ryan. Twice now, James, we've seen guys. it go up from Brown and then down Brown, onto the mat. Time. Two big takedowns makes it 6-1 in favor of the number 13 rest, ranked wrestler, Braxton Brown. Morgan State, your choice. So let's take a look Bird. at those two takedowns that were emphatic from Brown. Yeah, Brown takes down. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just the, the height he gets on these, it, it's a lot harder than people expect. And Brown just getting control here again, but he's going to go bottom here. Makes the same decision that Garvin Next made set. at 125. Brown already with the lead. He'll look for the escape point now. Go up by six. Brown builds the base. You see those legs then trying to push off with those ants. And it was actually Lopez who got the Improved. decision. There is not going to be a takedown yet. That was said. You're right. It was Lopez looking for the takedown opportunity. Smart decision. And I, you got to think his coach played a role into that one in Monday. Brown Improved. up to his feet. They're trying to bring him back down. Brown fights with the hands, really working on the left hand of Kevin Lopez. Before the takedown can come for Lopez, Brown forced out of bounds. So 90 seconds left to go. Just under in the second period. Six to one in favor of Braxton Brown. And Lopez has done a decent job so far keeping Brown away from him, but it's just. You gotta stop, knock it off. As a referee, Braxton Brown and Lopez getting a little chippy in there. Brown knows he's a good wrestler and not afraid to show it. Moving quickly, trying to work from the back. Braxton Brown again. And it up with the hands. We see Lopez with a little bit of a headlock here. Backside headlock, maybe trying to reverse Brown on his back, but not getting the strength. Slowly dwindling down the riding time Improved. for Braxton Brown. We saw Garvin pick up the riding time point in the opening 25 bout. Improve here. Now under a minute in riding time. Brown. I agree. Brown's a lot more in control here than than it looks. As you can see, he's got the wrist right now, working for that wrist. Once he gets that, he's going to turn it out and try Falling and get the reversal. Apart and flying out. Braxton Brown earns the escape point, goes up by a two takedown advantage. Yep, we're getting to six right now, Ryan. 45 seconds left in the second period. Kevin Lopez just missed the takedown opportunity. Face. Now back to neutral. He looks in again. And look at that. These fakes from Brown making Lopez in that last phase, just go down and try and shoot. Brown knows exactly what he's doing. He's in control of this match. As he's gonna go for the single leg here, Ryan. Goes, oh show on its back, it's another takedown for Braxton Brown. Now he's looking for the pin. He's gonna get the riding time too, Ryan, if things can stay. Swipes coming for Braxton Brown. Kevin Lopez trying to find its way out. Only 10 seconds left in the period. Swipes after swipes for Braxton Brown. Does he get the tap on the mat? It's gonna be four near fall points for Braxton Brown at least. And that is a big end to that second period for Brown. Able to get the near fall points, able to get a reversal. Excuse me, an escape. Look at the takedown here too from Braxton Brown. Works it over his left shoulder and puts Lopez back down. And that's the strength, to be able to pick him up while you're on your knees, not even on the feet. Brown just showcasing a master class right now on the mats. Now Brown into that tech fall territory. He's up 13 on Kevin Lopez. One more takedown will do it here against the senior from Long Beach, New York. And right now he's got the riding time too, Ryan, which is important. Add one more point to that. It could be a tech fall win, given he gets one more point, whether it's an escape point, a reversal could help him as well, give him the tech fall automatically. Warning to Lopez and going for the hand, and Brown's looking for that final takedown to end it. And this is around. Yeah, and this is a tough position. He's Puts him into the mat, and it's a big takedown. The swipes come from Brown. He's looking for the pin. Brown moving it. And that whistle will end things here. First two bouts, both by tech ball for Maryland. Braxton Brown gets it done against Kevin Lopez and moves to 6-1 on the season. Yeah, and as the guys from the Maryland side chanting, yeah, BB. Braxton Brown coming out like a BB gun here. <laughs> putting Lopez on the mat. A win from Braxton Brown. That'll be a tech fall, giving Maryland five points. And is that two tech ball wins to start things off, Ryan? How pretty entertaining so far from the Maryland side. Quick big 10-0 lead for Maryland as this one will get started between Dario Lemus and Myron Nixon. Maryland, though, you look at it. It's the first time this season that 
two straight wins by bonus points for Maryland to open up a match. Shouldn't fly there from 33 into 41 between Lemus and Nixon. Lemus looks over Nixon. Quick with the hands and getting the takedown. Dario Lemus, his first takedown in College Park this season as Myron Nixon earns the escape. You see the right compression sleeve on the arm for Lemus. He was injured a little bit, James, as this two wrestlers will start back in the middle. Was injured a little bit this season. We'll see what happens here with Lemus on the takedown. Absolutely. It looks like he gets a little poke in the eye there. Contact fell out. He's going to get that back in. Should be getting things underway right now again. But no intra squad for Lemus. Didn't appear in the first two bouts for Maryland against Bucknell and Kent State. Didn't appear in the Tiger style either. But he picked up a 13 7 decision at American. Now he's back in front of the College Park faithful. Quick hands for Myron Nixon. And moving things back. Nixon working on Lemus's left leg. And this is a weird one. Doesn't look like anybody's in control here. Look, they're just quick, rolling. Quick flip there from Lemus. That's a sprawl there. Neither one of these guys in full control, just kind of rolling around, trying to get an edge. Lemus looks like he may get it here. Quick turn there from Dario Lemus, the redshirt freshman from Clovis, California. Three, down, three. And yeah, he's hooked the torso there, Ryan. Earns the three points, one, another takedown. 6-1 in favor of Lemus. Three. Couple swipes come, moving. Out, greens down, and Out of the circle, down. they'll reset things at center mat. And James, we haven't seen Morgan State earn a takedown yet, but that? now in the third bout, it looked like Nixon had it for a moment, but not until Dario oh, Lemus can say otherwise. Yeah, you could just see him sprawling pass. back and forth. Lemus ultimately gets control when he locks those arms into place and gets the torso. No, so Lemus, as Nixon's going to go bottom here. As things get started up again here, and Looks for a Lemus. second escape. Lemus doesn't get it just yet. The wrestler they call the Mexican Wolverine, Dario Lemus. His nickname in the locker room as it's Nick Nixon earning the escape point. Now 6-2 in favor of Lemus. Saw that, Ryan. Well, Coach Clemson gave us that little detail about Lemus. He didn't want to give too much on Lemus's tactics and what makes him so strong as a wrestler. Yeah, you see the strength right there. Picking up Nixon, not earning the takedown just yet. Danger. Still trying to work One. from the back. And it's another takedown for Dario Lemus, his third of the bout so far. Quickly, though, Nixon gets onto his front, so avoiding those shoulders on the mat. Yeah, and we heard the referee overseeing this match right now say there was potential danger there 45, on that last guys, one. But 45. Demas cleaned that up real quick and got three more points. Lemus using, again, that not 100% right arm. It's still working back from the injury, but he's trying to flip over Nixon's shoulders right now. And Ryan, Lemus is no joke. You talked about that 13-7 win earlier in his debut against American, but that was against an NCAA qualifier and Jack Maida. And, and guess who Jack Maida beat just last year? That's Braxton That's Brown at 125. So yeah. Lemus picking up the win against a guy that took down another guy on his team that's ranked in the nation. Lemus is no joke. And he's coming out to prove that this season as he gets his first full season with the Terps. Third escape point earned for Myron Nixon. Now he'll look for a takedown. And I get it here as his first period dwindles down. Each wrestler will scrap before the buzzer sounds. But three takedowns for Dario Lemus. Getting it all done. Just like this, James. Go neutral? Okay, we're gonna go neutral. Yep. Absolutely turn him over. On the line. Getting a double leg there. We've seen a lot of single leg takedowns today so far, Ryan, but the double leg gets you even more control, just that much harder to gain that extra edge though. Lemus chooses to go neutral against Nixon. As you mentioned, he goes for a double leg again, well defended by Myron Nixon. The Dario Lemus taking a lot of shots right now, Ryan. He's going low on everything he can get. Nixon is not in control of this one. Is That's another single leg, maybe. Going to guard the double leg there. Pushes the shoulders out of it. Throws himself down for the takedown and maybe more. Here come the swipes for Dario Lemus. The crowd's wanted here. A quick look down at the shoulders of Nixon. Still no tap. Running around as a referee. And he'll get it. It's a pin for Dario Lemus. Welcome back to College Park. Dario Lemus in his first bout in front of the home Terps fans. He gets a pin going against Myron Nixon. Yeah, and Lemus working all night for that one. And didn't have to work that long though, Ryan, that first period. Worked it here, you could see him. That's the near fall points. Referee counting him up, would have gotten four there. But Lemus says, nah, let's end this thing early. Give me the pin. 
I'll take that. And all Maryland so far, three bouts that have come by at least a technical fall. We're not talking about just bonus points and some major decisions. Tech fall, tech fall, and then a pin for Dario Lemus. Puts Maryland up 16 to zero through the first three bouts. Now we'll see Pizzuto. We were actually expecting to see Cal Miller. Pizzuto was going to fill in at that 141, but he's going to take on 149 now. So he's moving up for this one, Ryan. Yeah, you mentioned it's a redshirt freshman, Michael Pizzuto, a Mount Area Maryland native, going up against Aaron Turner, sophomore from Chesapeake, Virginia. Turner just 1-0 this season. He picked up a tech fall in the Marymount match. And Ryan, you talk about Mount Airy, go to that South Carroll High School. Guess who else on the team is A.J. Rodriguez. Same class as Pizzuto as well. If you remember right, Maryland just coming off the bout against American. That was actually played at South Carroll High School. Mm -hmm. So Maryland, American looking to grow wrestling in the DMV. So they play at the neutral site location at South Carroll. Now those guys trying to cement their names at, you know, in this gymnasium as well here at the Pavilion. Pizzuto did not wrestle at his high school alma mater where he was a three-time Maryland State Champion and the 2022 Maryland Lightweight Wrestler of the Year. But now he's back in the lineup here going up against the Bears. Still no points here through the first minute and change. Big shot there from Turner again. Morgan State looking for their first takedown so far. And they're now into the fourth bout. And so Pizzuto moving up in weight. Aaron Turner actually moved down since high school. It was 157, a yep. 4A state champ at 157, Ryan. Turner says he went to Morgan State because he wanted to be part of a wrestling team that's going to shock the world. Something to shock someone here. It's still scoreless between Pizzuto and Turner. Big opportunity now if Turner can swipe at Pizzuto's left leg, as he does there. Can he get the takedown? No, well defended by Michael Pizzuto. See him keeping that left leg distant right on the edge of the mat outside the circle. Not going to be anything here for Turner yet. And Pizzuto's kind of in a more dominant position now than he was before, Ryan. As Clemson, Coach Clemson yelling. All Turner can do is grab the left leg. Trying to get an ankle here so he gets more control. Could be potentially dangerous. Nothing mm. yet from the ref. You see the head peek out for Aaron Turner. And As Pizzuto tries to flip it all the way over using Turner's right leg. And I don't know what Coach Clemson saw that we didn't hear, Ryan, but obviously something because he stalemate. basically put his wrestler okay. in control. Finally, a, a stalemate's called there between Turner and Pizzuto. Two wrestlers will restart neutral with 34 seconds left to go in the first period. Instead of getting the reversal there, mm. Pizzuto just looking to get the stalemate. That's what he, the Coach Clemson was trying to tell him to do. He's on the edge of the circle. Clemson called. Michael Pizzuto, a coach's dream. Hey, what's the face? Down the face. Okay. As you guys will start neutral again. And we mentioned how Clemson called Tyler Garvin the best public school kid in this last year's recruiting class. A year before, he had the same compliment from Michael Pizzuto. Someone who's got all that intangibles again coming from South Carroll. Not a surprise either, Ryan. The, the accolades, the numbers speak for themselves. Three-time state champ. 13-10 and 10 last year during his redshirt freshman season. Working quickly, and that's how the first period will end scoreless. First time through four bouts that we've seen a scoreless opening period. It's been even between Pizzuto and Turner. Again, a lot of that first period spent in the far left corner there, and it ended up being a stalemate between the two wrestlers. Absolutely, Ryan. This one's just a tale of two cities, right? We talked about Turner having to move down in weight, Pizzuto having to move up. So it's really the battle between having that bulk weight and, and being sort of more of a flyweight guy. Pizzuto builds that base and gets that opening point with the escape. Stay out of the face. 1-0 in favor of Pizzuto. This one, I, I mean, even though we saw the Cal Miller replacement last second and, and Pizzuto getting put into place, this one might be the most entertaining match of the night, Ryan, just how close it is after that first period. Turner looking more settled in than his first three teammates before as he goes for Pizzuto's left leg. And this looks like it could be potentially dangerous. That left knee of Pizzuto getting worked into action. Again, Pizzuto looks for the reversal. They will call potentially dangerous though and reset things in the middle. Yeah, that one just, I mean, it was so clear as day. The referee was just going to see if Pizzuto could get out of it or if Turner would turn things around, but it didn't end up happening. Pizzuto looks exhausted right now, Ryan. Down to a knee for a moment. Now tries for the single leg shot. Gets it on the right leg of Turner. Flipped over. Turner's trying to kick out Pizzuto from under him. Yeah, can't kick the head, Ryan, but you can try and kick at other things. Pizzuto not liking the position right now. Pizzuto working Turner onto his back. And here it is. Look, maybe another call for a potentially dangerous left leg's locked into place. Nothing yet. 
Quick turnaround here against Turner. And low score. Tight battle between Aaron Turner and Michael Bazuda. That brings head coach Kenny Monday to his feet now and trying to tell Turner what he needs to do to turn things around. Pizzuto not really in control here yet, Ryan. Another stalemate call. called between the two second year Fresh. wrestlers. Aaron Turner, the sophomore, and Michael Pizzuto, the redshirt freshman. And in Turner, also a Chesapeake, Virginia native, as Myron Nixon, their guy from 141, was for Morgan State. Both guys from sort of Virginia area. Shot for Aaron Turner, as you said. The guys coming in with experience. The 4A state champion. They call him 8T at Morgan State. There you go. We got BB, we got 8T. There you go. We're going to have AC in a second. Going down? Down. Miller time coming up here soon too, Ryan. Just about, just about for Maryland, but first Pizzuto yeah, tries to build Stay on set. a 1-0 lead. Again, this has been the closest bout we've seen by far. Maryland wins the first two bouts by Techfall, and then at 141, it's a pin for Dario Lemus. That's why we see a 16-0 score through three bouts. Aaron Turner gets turned around there. Pizzuto still in control, not Enough. with the takedown. Got to get the legs. That's what he's trying to work right now. See those back legs there. Pizzuto's trying to get in control of those. Those are part of the takedown, not just about getting the guy on his, on his, on his arms and his elbows, but got to get the legs locked. Pizzuto did score. start on top, so that's why the riding time the is climbing up right now. Just going to go out of the circle. So good opportunity. You mentioned Pizzuto adding the riding time, but it's Aaron Turner, James, who with one move could get that key escape point in these close, low-scoring bouts. That escape point would tie things here with Pizzuto, just about 91 seconds to go. As we'll see Turner go down here. Turner's got to work quickly. See him battling with the right hand. He's got Pizzuto where he wants him. Pizzuto will try with the mat return. Got to get those legs locked. And just the acrobatic nature of Turner to be able to just sprawl out of these, not even give Pizzuto the chance to get that leg locked into place. See the left hand from Turner just stabilizing himself on the mat as Pizzuto here. looks to go from behind. Both guys improve here. He's trying to, referee trying to tell Pizzuto or Turner, one of them needs to improve or another stalemate's going to be called. Improve! You see, still yelling improve, nothing changes oh. yet. Pizzuto trying to get the points. I think a stalemate may be called on Turner. You see the top right of the scoring box too, James. The riding time for Pizzuto is starting to climb up. It's not confirmed Worth yet. That'd be huge because if you have that riding time and Turner gets an escape, Pizzuto would still win by a two to one score. One, two. Three. Pizzuto comfortable with holding Turner down and adding up that riding time. Almost confirmed for the redshirt freshman. A stalemate's most certainly going to be called here soon, Ryan. But it looks like Turner's going to get to his feet. This stalemate wouldn't be called Both if he does. Work here. Huge, because it would stop the riding time, but that's already secured for Pizzuto. So too late for Turner to get that escape point and stop the riding time. But Pizzuto could just ride this out for the final 10 seconds of the bout. Pizzuto wants much more, though. And See the assistant coaches from Morgan State getting on their feet. Hold from the back for Pizzuto, but it won't matter. A close 2-0 win at 49 for Michael Pizzuto. His first dual win of the season. He moves his record to 3-4 and four on the year. Pretty good outing for Michael Pizzuto. Bumped up to 149. Doesn't matter for the Mount Airy native. And Pizzuto just put his dual record at 500, Ryan. Started off 0-1 earlier in the season, but now Pizzuto trying to even things out. And hopefully for him, he wants to get back at that 141 after having to go up here. It's not easy to go up and wait, as we're going to see some Miller time, looks like, Ryan. Yeah, we see Ethan Miller coming on to the mat for Maryland. So it wasn't the dominant tech fall that we saw at 25 or 33 for Maryland or the big big pin for Dario Lemus in his first bout at home in 2024. But it's a decision that goes for Michael Pizzuto and here at 157, it's Ethan Miller versus Eric Texan. Miller is one of the quickest, most elusive and entertaining wrestlers in all of the nation right now and, and has been for the last couple of years, especially now that he's moved up to 157. He says he feels more comfortable at this weight. And he's earned that number 14 next to his name, being a top 15 wrestler at 57 in the country. 
It's because he's 6-0 and this season and was the 157 Tiger-style champion in his hometown of Kansas City, Missouri. Right, one of only two that we talked about on this team. A lot of them did well, and most of them did place. But we got Seth Nevels as well, and it was also in Kansas City, Ryan, Kansas City, Missouri. The hometown for the Miller brothers. Ethan Miller, older brother of Cal Miller, who wasn't there at 149 today. The usual wrestler going for the double leg shot. Ethan Miller wants the opening points of this 57 bout. Both Ethan and Cal, big Kansas City fans. You can see that on their social media page as well, Ryan. And they uh, big fans of obviously last year's result in the yeah. NFL, Ryan. Defending champion Kansas City Chiefs. Head coach Alex Lemson also from that area. And trying to play like a champion right now is Ethan Miller. Grabbing the right leg of Texan and working on the left leg sweep and finally gets it for the takedown. Big takedown for Ethan Miller. Now we'll add on the riding time points against Eric Texan into the lineup. The sophomore from guys, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Kaskia Hall Prep High School. Yeah, first. Ryan, I just feel like we're going to see a montage of Miller time right now. And these next oh, couple of matches down. between, obviously, Ethan's going right now. And 121, gentlemen, that one out of bounds. Ethan already with a 3 0 lead over Texan. And for Texan. James, this is the first dual action he's seen so far this year. He went, he's 2 and 12 on his career. Gentlemen, stay set. Cover legal top. But this was a spot where Seamus McIntosh has been in all season for Morgan State at 57. But now it's Eric Texan getting his first dual action of the season. It's a pretty tough wrestler to start with in number 14, Ethan Miller. You could say that, Ryan. It's no coincidence that Texan's getting this start, though, for right today. And, and not to say that Morgan State didn't want to wrestle their other guy, but when you're going up against a ranked guy like Ethan Miller, you're smart about who you're going to put minute, in there guys, and, and one minute, let's work here. give Texan his first opportunity to take off in his college career. Eric Texan Working thrown into the fire here against Maryland, who's already with a 19-0 lead. First Working to score. three bouts for Maryland, won by at least me, both guys a work tech fall, so at least by five points, and then the pin to Dario Lemus. And this is a guy in Texan is not really, his name isn't unfamiliar here. His brother is also a wrestler on the team too, and Trey Sean. Yeah. Trey Sean, I believe he's had... Not going to be set. seen Never tonight, but. So it's Texan who will start on Botter, looking for the escape point as Miller close to a minute of riding time in the first period. That return for Miller against Eric Texan, who's no stranger to this Maryland team either. He competed last year at Morgan State. He lost to number 32, Michael North, who was that consistent 157 for Maryland last year. North picking up a major decision against Texan, 12-0 is how North was able to win Working that one last score. year. And this is just tough. I mean, North was ranked from a large part of that season last year, Ryan. North was one of the only guys that picked up a pin versus Northwestern, a Big Ten opponent, Working one of the two score, Maryland guys. got last year. Mm. Short time. So Michael North and then coming in here and facing yeah. Ethan Miller. Just, I mean, Texan, it's a tough one. Not only is he no stranger to Maryland, he's no stranger to Maryland's <laughs> best wrestlers going from North to Miller. And Sheath and Miller had that one takedown. This is how he got the 3-0 advantage. Yeah, he got the ankle pick there. Look, and he gets that last one, just clips the ankle there and gets his 3-0, like you mentioned, Ryan. Set. Top, cover legal. And can we talk about just how packed this place is, Ryan, for Go ahead. a wrestling match, Friday night action? And People showed up. It's Shrek night, like we mentioned. Yeah, Shrek night, mental health night here for Maryland. Then a good amount of orange and navy in the fa fan section as well from Morgan State, Improve. just about an hour north in Baltimore. Improve! Improve! Miller Neutral. able to get out the escape point. 4-0 in favor of Ethan Miller, the redshirt junior from Park Hill High School. Led the team with five major decisions last year. Two-time NCAA qualifier and a two-time Big Ten placer. And Ethan Miller, as well as his brother Cal Miller, they both go up a weight class. So Miller jumps up from 49 to 57. And on that transformation, as Miller's up 4-0 on Texan, head coach Alex Clemson says he's never seen a transformation like that for any wrestler. As Miller gets another takedown on Eric Texan. That's what happens when you gain 13 and a half pounds of net muscle. Losing fat and gaining muscle, Miller just becoming a bigger wrestler and grew into a 57. It was an idea of moving him up that Clemson says he talked with his assistant coaches in about late July about. And so far, they're making the decision Improve. look good with Ethan Miller. 
Absolutely. And Miller's Still just red. talked about how he's walked Still around at a, at a higher weight You're class, too. This makes it a little bit easier for wrestlers. Not having to cut so much that life doesn't get as brutal, Ryan. Even though they still got to see an opponent on the mats every every week in terms of the way that they diet and stuff, it's not as much of a struggle. But I think they would tell you something different as well. But Miller off the mats, too, has really just been a success academically and professionally, too, Ryan. They got their Miller Time apparel brand, too. And Miller takedown comes from Ethan Miller. Miller. Saying, hey, don't talk about my apparel brand. Watch this takedown I get to now go up nine points. My bad, Ryan. Just distracting you there, but just shows you that these guys aren't just you know, forces on the mats. They're forces in real life, too. And Work the trying score to here. Share a positive impact Work on the not only the university, here. but on the world, too. As Miller also has a business with another fellow guy on the team in Jackson Smith called Terra Threats, clothing business where they resell apparel. Making money off the mat and on it. How about this takedown from Ethan Miller? Now money takedown, Ryan. Going down? As another okay. clip of the leg. Going down. He's got a 10-1 lead. It's gonna be a major decision if things stay where they are. Also got okay. over two minutes of riding time. That's gonna be secured Greens here. Down. One green, neutral. At about the minute 19 mark. Hasn't been secured yet. Ethan Miller having his way so far against Eric Texan. That's been our Case so far with Maryland leading 19 to 0. Winners of all four up, up. bouts on, guys, thus far. All by, all by bonus points until Set. Michael Pizzuto pulls out a quick 2 to 1 win. Just a bout to go at 149. And I think that's still best case for Pizzuto. You know, obviously he wanted to place better in that last match, but coming in unexpected to wrestle until Cal Miller puts is put on the starting, is taken out of the starting lineup. I mean, still a good win for Pizzuto, especially for these Terps too. And, Keep Morgan State at zero. Here's Texan. Pick up Miller. And Ethan Miller trying to preserve his major decision territory. Absolutely. Also, and Texan hooking that knee of Miller. Had, hasn't had surgery on it, but ACL and MCL injuries he's had in the past Turn of Ethan Miller's red. knees. So, but Texan trying to get that knee and work something with it. Miller not letting that happen, minute, and we guys, just saw riding here. time secured. How about another takedown for Ethan Miller? Adding it up here as he looks now to potentially win That's by well. Tech Fall. Again, another escape, though, will make that more difficult. Eric Texan picks up his third, 13 to 3 in favor of Miller. He's going to have to get at least two takedowns here, Ryan. He got one there. We'll get one right as you say that. Still red. It's a takedown party for Ethan Miller. One, another one there, but an escape point back to. Eric Texan. So he needs a takedown here, Ryan, or a reversal of some sort. But Miller going for the takedown. You can believe that. Double leg shot. Trying to work from the top, working on the right arm, and then flipping the shoulders. Miller just so aggressive. He wants the tech fall win badly here, or a pin. But he's just got 20 seconds to work with that, Ryan. And both wrestlers are back on their feet. He's going to have to shoot now. Good defense on the Texan shot and gets that takedown, as you mentioned. Much. On Shrek night, Ethan Miller gets it done. Takedown after takedown, ogre and ogre again. Ethan Miller wins 19 to four and pushes Maryland's lead to 24. It's what you expected, as you can see here. Miller getting the takedown, closing this one up. A number of different takedowns for Ethan Miller and Miller time's not over yet. Five wins for Maryland through the first five bouts. And four of them have come by at least a technical fall. The Miller gets it done. We're just about to step aside here for intermission, but it's been a big lead for Maryland, 24 to zero thus far, James. Yeah, and, and this one expected a lot better, especially from last year after letting Morgan State get two wins by decision. Maryland up 24 to zero. When we come back, it's 165. Final five bouts between the Bears and the Terrapins. All the layers have been all Terrapins. They've been dominating this bat so far up to a 24 to zero advantage. You got that right, Ryan. As we started off, Tyler Garvin really going to work here. Gets his first win of the night, and you could just see multiple takedowns showing off for Maryland here at the Pavilion. That's 133, we got Braxton Brown going to work here on Lopez to take down there from Brown. A 10-0 win for Brown gets the major decision. As we'll see at 141, we got Dario Lemus, our first pin of the night. Yeah. Lemus was working all night long to try and get the tech fall, ends up getting the pin here, and then we'll get into 149. We were expecting 
to see Cal Miller. We actually jumped to 157. Ethan Miller, tech ball win for Miller. Made that one quick work. As we'll see some of the stats as our first five just happened, Ryan. Yeah, you see a great recap right there, James. Four tech falls, uh, at least to go for Maryland in the five duels that we've seen so far. Four of them by bonus points. And you mentioned the big uh, pin from Dario Lemus. Maryland seeking its second straight shutout, too. They shut out the American Eagles, now trying to do so against another in-state rival with the Morgan State Bears. Absolutely, Ryan. And we're going to get into the next couple matches, our latter half of tonight's matchup. In just a second here, as we see head coach Alex Clemson, Missouri yep. native, as well as someone who helped largely recruit the Miller Time Bros here. And as you can see, these next five probable wrestlers for both sides. You mentioned that a lot of talent as well for Maryland. Got a couple ranked wrestlers between Jackson Smith and Seth Nevels. At 165, you see Kenny Monday, the Morgan State head coach. He's getting ready for what will be Sam Diggs versus John Martin Best at 165. Maryland really struggled coming out of intermission last season, especially at this weight class here at 165. Maryland, a year ago, they lost the final 11 dual matches at 65, but John Martin Best, he's back healthy through two torn ACLs, so you see that right knee well wrapped up. But John Martin Best, the redshirt junior from Parksburg, West Virginia, now goes up against Sam Diggs with Morgan State. Undefeated so far for Best. I think you just mentioned that, Ryan, but also a guy that suffered a season-ending injury last year. Didn't get to see the minutes and time on the mats that he wanted to. You will not see a quicker takedown than that very often. John Martin Best, 15 seconds in, earns the three points and now tries to do the mat return to add on the riding time. But as you mentioned, James, it was Maryland who just most recently, pretty recently, had the Tiger-style invitational. Ethan Miller won it. And you'll see the takedown from John Martin Best. A year ago at that Tiger Style Invitational, he did tear his ACL. You got that right, Ryan. And that one, I mean, I don't know what that does to a wrestler's emotional health early on in the season, mental health night. And it's good to see John Martin Best back on the mats and competing again. Know how hard it can be to face through an injury like that. Mm. We got the quick three points against Sam Diggs, the Chesapeake, Virginia native, a Deep Creek High School graduate. Boy, guys, stalemate. Guys, work on the edge. Get a work stalemate the call there. As that was an interesting little turn right there, Ryan. That's and it. Diggs really circling out of bounds and Martin Best in bounds. Confusing concept there, but since Best was still in, that's that's playable. 3-1 lead for John Martin Best so far against Sam Diggs and just a freshman. Mentioned from Deep Creek where he was a middle linebacker and a running back for the Hornets football team as well. Really excelled there, as well as being a Virginia wrestling state champion. So far, one and one with a win against Marymount. A major decision, but then a loss by decision to Bucknell. It's looking like John Martin Best in the driver's seat. A second takedown. Oh, yep. bring you down. See that again, Ryan. Just Martin Best working that one. Redshirt junior versus a freshman in Sam Diggs. This is tough for a guy like Diggs to try and get the upset off Take of a set. hungry wrestler in Martin Best who right, came off quick. injury. Yeah, you already quick. mentioned 2-0 on the season. Martin I'm Best is. Whistle, get on you first, okay? right. Wrestled in the very first start, duel that Hold Maryland had this season. It was part of the try meet. Hold on. Hold on. Picked up Stay a major set. decision no, against Kent State's Ethan Barr. And then was in action last week at American in the neutral South Improved. Carolina High School match where he picked up another major decision against Caden Milhelm. And this is a guy in Martin Best transferred from Air Force, not a direct mm. Maryland native straight out of high school to the college. A West Virginia guy too in Martin Best. Got that grittiness that Clemson and company were looking for when they took over. Another it in John Martin Best. Yep, another guy that had to fight for his spot. He's fighting for some takedowns now, too. Gets his third takedown to increase his lead. 9-2 in favor of John Martin Best. Martin Best will start back on top here. Only 32 seconds of riding time. He'll look to increase it in the, first, in the final 50 seconds and change of the first period. Stay set. Cover in control, too, Ryan. Talked about the riding time. Only the first period already tacking on. Almost 40 seconds of riding time. It's, it's going to be a point there. Another escape for Sam Diggs. 
Nine to three, our score reads now. And this 65 weight guys. class, James last year was a bit of a mixed bag. We saw AJ Rodriguez, again, another South Carroll High School alum in Mount Airy, Maryland. Ryan Money, a Game Rules Maryland kid. Couple in-state kids who really fought over the 65 spot when Martin Best went down with the torn ACL. But now it's side, Martin Best side. who seems to be back and better than yes, ever. Sir. Again, we mentioned a 2-0 start to his campaign. No, you got that right, Ryan. As Diggs is maybe looking to get some control here. This is one of those Martin Best keeping the distance, does not want Diggs to get his legs. Can't really tell who's in control right now. And looks like Martin Best is going to get an almost right reversal there. And Senator Bursley gets a three-point takedown the fourth in the first period for John Martin Best. John Martin Best has been a takedown Martin machine State. so far, and we just wrapped up only the first years. period. Yeah, it's 12 to three, Ryan. You talk about somebody being hungry. Martin Good. Best coming Matt. out and eating Rains tonight on these period. mats, and really only the points for Diggs have been from either, I believe it was a reversal What's and maybe uh, the escape points. Well, it's Shrek Knight here, and he's just been ruthless. He's like Lord Farquaad in the middle of the circle right Improve. now. Four takedowns Improve. so far through the first two minutes. Wrestled. Taking control, not hearing any complaints. Sounds like Lord Farquaad to me, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Down to outside of the mat. Our best oh. seeing that riding time go up slowly. Reset back at the middle M. Stay set. Cover legal. And this is a guy in Martin Best that still feels like he has something to prove. Wants to compete oh, at the NCAA level and at the Big Ten level too, Ryan. And he's a guy that you know has the opportunity and, and definitely the talent to see himself as an NCAA qualifier and definitely in the Big Ten this, this season. He's got a three takedown advantage against Sam Diggs. Big mat return comes from Martin Best to preserve that nine-point advantage. Riding time keeps going up. We mentioned a lot of lineup changes for head coach Alex Clemson this year, and this 65 spot was one that was certainly up for grabs, James. Well, 100%. I mean, it was between, eight, you know, got guys like A.J. Rodriguez, you got Martin Best. You could move some of the freshmen that just came in as well to that 165 slot. A lot of talented guys, a lot of guys ranked on. One. The Matt Scouts 2024 senior big board. Down, Greg. Again, we'll reset into the middle. The score, Six guys. seconds Both left to go in the, the second score. period with John Martin Best up 12 to 3. Maryland having the big advantage so far. 24-0 on the scoreboard. Four said, wins for Maryland like already by at least a tech fall. Five points or more for Tyler Garvin, Braxton Brown, Dario Lemus, and Ethan Miller. Ryan, this is still a young roster from this Morgan State team. 95% of the squad was freshmen last year. So wow. in this year, I mean, those guys, most of them turn it into sophomores or redshirt freshmen still. So it's it's a lot of growth that this program has to see, but really made some monumental changes in the last couple of years. And we mentioned in the open as Diggs tries to go for the single leg wall, defended by Martin Best, back to his feet. You mentioned how this is Morgan State. Again, it was a quarter of a century that the Bears What's did that? not have wrestling. But then you got uh, guys like Kenny Monday who comes in. You got a fight in. Back it's got to be a fight Outside in, of the circle, so they'll reset things. Kenny Monday, Monday brings back what is now wrestling at the only HBCU to offer it in America. As well as Jahi Jones, who was just honored during intermission as well, James. Jahi Jones, a Maryland graduate, graduated in 2020 after four years on this wrestling team. Now he started the initiative to bring back wrestling at Morgan State. It's been tremendous for the oh, former no, Terp and now Morgan State yes, Bear leader. And wrestle that's what you look for. It really puts things into perspective, right, guy, Ryan? I mean, it's somebody who came as alumni from Maryland, making a difference in the state of Maryland, but this time in a different school and a different program. It's just the passion for wrestling and the passion for, you know, more for all the guys involved and for HBCUs in general. Yeah, again, big shout out to Jahi Jones, the director of HBCUW to help get wrestling back at Morgan State. Again, the Bears in its second year of reexistence after going away for 25 seasons. John Martin Best will start the final two minutes on bottom. 04. Martin Best leads it in what? Is Maryland looking for, again, its sixth straight win to start off this match? Just going to be a major decision one here for Martin Best. He'll get the escape point there, though, Ryan. That adds 
So now you got a nine point lead. One, one point us. of riding time. Possible to add on. Now it should have been just secured in just a second here, maybe the 36 second mark, the minute mark. Offense, offense. And again, Maryland will take bonus points anyway. It can get it. Martin Best playing chase for a moment. Diggs able to escape out well. Stirs at their feet. <laughs> Martin Best. That's action, guys. That's action. Digs way over to his own bench in front of head coach Kenny Monday. Set. See both wrestlers growing tired in the final minute of this 165 bout. Battle in there, battle in there. Battle for me. In the last win over American, a team win, John Martin Best recorded a major decision victory. It looks like it's probably going to be that same story, Ryan, if nothing else changes significantly. Mm. Three. Really pushing ready, Diggs guys. well out before the whistle What's comes. That? Martin Best yeah, earns the okay. takedown, so it's that. a 16-4 to advantage that. for the 65-pounder John Martin the Best. The mat is a take Looks down. like That's we're going to see a review here. Martin mm -hmm. Best was looking for either a reversal points or maybe another takedown. So we're going to see in just a moment what the referee, referees think as we're going to see a break from both Coach Kenny Monday and Alex Clemson. As well as, Ryan, if I could just talk more about some of the coaching staff of Maryland. We got Nick Braschetta, three-time All-American, four-time NCAA qualifier at Virginia Tech, promoted to associated head coach this season. You can see Braschetta talking to John Martin Best, his wrestler at 165 right now. Braschetta's got lots of experience on the mats, both wrestling and now coaching, as he's been with Clemson for the last couple of years. And they will award the takedown, as you saw Braschetta in the white shirt talking with John Martin Best. We'll see this takedown right here. James gets close to the scores table, but before the whistle comes, John Martin Best picks it up. This is interesting, Ryan. The scoreboard here in Xfinity says five to 16. We have it listed as four to 16 right now. Could have been a misadded point. Don't believe I saw any escapes happen. I didn't see an escape, but you saw a takedown right there from John Martin Best. And now he's got the 14 point lead. He will, if things stay where they are, he will get that riding time point at the end, but that's given things change where they are. Excuse me, stay where they are. It's 14 point lead right now, six seconds. So up 14, just adding on the riding time, which will already be there. So this will go down as a tech ball win for John Martin Best as the buzzer hits double zeros. Redshirt junior John Martin Best, his third win of the season, all my bonus points. Yeah, that's what every match of the night, except for one, Ryan. That's five of six matches that have been bonus point wins for the Terps. Yeah, not just the major decision. We're talking five of the six bouts so far, James, have been by tech fall or a pin. That's five plus points, and then the six points that comes from Dario Lemus's pin. This is a wide margin that Maryland is about to as we just get started with 174. We'll see Branson John here and Darian Roberts. John was, a, in the words of Alex Clemson, head coach of Maryland, Branson John was their best unsigned senior yeah. in that last class. He's a true freshman from Clovis, California, also a area that Dario Lemus is from, as well as a couple other guys on this team. Yeah, it was Clemson talking a little bit about that California pipeline that you're seeing Maryland get. We've already saw Dario Lemus, same hometown as Branson John, and then we'll end off with the heavyweight, Seth Neville's also a Californian. Three. Going up against Darian Roberts here, a redshirt senior from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. No, Most neutral, of them guys. from Clovis, California area as well, Ryan, so that area is bumping out some of these wrestlers as well as this California yeah, connection like becoming it. real. Quick takedown as well for John, for Branson John. John picks up the takedown. Again, it's another quick points for Maryland as Morgan State still in search of its first takedown through the first six bouts and change. There's a good opportunity to get one, though, through Darian Roberts, a transfer from Oklahoma. So he's got Big 12 wrestling experience. The neutral. He had a 46 and 33 record with the Sooners oh, as Roberts yeah. and John go too far out. 
Yeah, and Ryan, that previous takedown that I thought was also a takedown was... Uh, Referee said they were in neutral. Alex Clemson doesn't look like he's challenged it, but does want a word yeah. with the referee and officiating crew right now to see if that was a takedown. So on the scoreboard, still read 0 0. They've reversed it. Clemson, we'll just want a quick conversation. We'll go back to Roberts for a moment. He just had a graduate transfer from Oklahoma, and he was the NCAA Wrestler of the Week a few years ago when he was with the Sooners. A guy in Roberts that in the teams only win this year, right, Ryan? They're one and four in Morgan State. But in that win against Marymount, which is dominant, 40 to 10 win, absolute just master class put on by Morgan State. He got the tech fall win, so definitely a capable wrestler and has experience at the collegiate level. He's got a 0 0 score as well, James, as that one is taken off the scoreboard. The takedown from Branson John is not awarded. 0 0 between Roberts and John. Roberts, the former Oklahoma University wrestling freshman of the year. 4 to 1 so far this season. You already mentioned the win against Marymount. And Ryan, we talked about it, I mean earlier the only match that we've seen so far that wasn't decided in bonus points was that one between Pizzuto and Aaron Turner at 149. I thought that one was going to be the most competitive. I think this match could be the most competitive one of the night for the Terps and and for Morgan State. You see Branson John working from the ground on Roberts' right leg. Hair. And to push him over and Still neutral, John guys. Keep wrestling here. One of the rare freshmen who came in, worked through the summer, and Clemson said, all right, he's going to be our guy. If we have it our way, we want this true freshman to be our wrestler at 74. Stalemate. Stalemate will reset it in the middle between Roberts and John. But before this year where Tyler Garvin and Branson John both saw lineup time, it was only Cal Miller in 2022, the only true freshman before Garvin and John who had seen lineup time for head coach Alex Clemson at Maryland. Yeah, and then also just want to throw one more oh, in there too. AJ Rodriguez. The Not expected this was last year. He's a true freshman as well as Pizzuto, both from that Mount Airy area. Pizzuto, excuse me, Rodriguez got some minutes at 165. Yeah, both coming in a little bit later in the season. Saw, but <laughs> the first period. It's a rare scoreless Four. period as Three. Branson Three. John Three. chooses to stay on top. He'll look for the first takedown. We're talking with head coach Alex Clemson a little bit about what Branson John has brought. He mentioned there's been a couple of head scratching moves that you'd see out of any true freshman in the lineup and times when just seeing that they're finding inconsistencies or lack of focus. But that was a real turning point against American, James. He said when uh, the Eagles maybe put out a true freshman of their own who thought they had an advantage. But then it was Clemson who quoted Lee Corso. He said, oh, not so fast. Branson John will have his way. And he picks up the 13 to 6 decision over Hunter Homan. And John, also a guy that placed third at the California Over State here. Championships just last year before coming to College Park and wrestling for Maryland. A talented wrestler in one of the biggest states in the nation as well. So he's got a claim at both the state and Improve. national level as he's working right now for a takedown, the first on one of the match. The riding time, too, against Darian Roberts. Nearly a minute there. Here, guys. Might get in working in this period. Score. Still scoreless between Branson John and Darren Roberts. John looks for the mat return as he nears a minute of riding time. Couldn't get it though against Roberts, yeah. the redshirt okay. senior. Got that right as Branson's oh, going to try and get that arm lower. He's got to hook those two legs. John unable to do that as we're going to get these two wrestlers not necessarily in neutral position, but hey, what's it's going to be Roberts Tell on the me. bottom. Tell me, work the score there, okay? Yeah, another Set. stalling here for Branson John. They said, start on top against Darian Roberts. Looks like I believe a stall call for each one of them. So no points yet. Just a couple warnings thrown out here in the match. And a stall point could be all 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 the match needs, Ryan, because we. I mean, we just now see Improve that somebody's here. got some riding time advantage in Branson John. But so Darren Roberts is trying to build that base, James. You Improve. see him put those two hands out right at the bottom right of the Maryland M. Gets to the base, and before he can get the escape point, it's a mat return for Branson John. That's what he's done this whole time, too, is just keep those arms distant from John. As long as he can keep those up far away out of John's reach, he's not going to award Branson John with any takedown points. John working on the left arm of Darian Roberts. 
Roberts is trying to stabilize himself with the right arm. Branson John fully on top of him. Here comes the base, Roberts. Just yeah. out by the second period yeah. buzzer. A great defensive effort from Darren Roberts. He's done really all he's needed to this match, except now you have to make a move if you're him. He's not starting on bottom, so there's no point for escape possible for Roberts. He's going to have to get a takedown. Got to like the move from Branson John, too, to have confidence in getting the escape point as he already fights the hands of Darren Roberts. Has the two minutes of riding time here that's being decreased as Roberts starts on top, but he gets that quick escape point and only loses 10 seconds of riding time in the process. And you could say Branson John, though he's early in his collegiate career, this is a guy with, I mean, I would love you for to guess his sprawling partner, his wrestling partner in practice, right? I don't know if you could or not, but it's none other than Jackson Smith, one of the best wrestlers in the nation. So Branson John and Smith really getting used to each other and him going up against literally a top 10 guy in the nation in his respective weight class, a guy that we saw at number three last year, it's big for Branson. Just makes him better as the Morgan State faithful here saying, let's go Darian. They want to see a Morgan State Bear pick up a takedown. We haven't seen it yet between the Bears and the Terrapins. You see John, it's, it's tough to see from this angle, but he's got that far ankle. Danger green. John what? there, potentially dangerous. We are entering the last minute of this match, and both coaches very verbal right now for their two guys. Trying to build it up. He's got Roberts in a good position. If he can pull the reversal, you see the riding time already secured here. The final 40 seconds. They're looking for a Overall, as John has tried to have him on the back, reset with 38 seconds left to play. Stalemate call there, Ryan. Not yeah. stalling, so that one is just going to put these two back into the middle with each other. The riding time is secured for John. With under 30 seconds, Darren Roberts could get a takedown to win things at 74 for Morgan State. It's going to be impressive if he does, but hasn't really gotten John in a dangerous position yet this match. And Final 20 seconds. Do or die time for Darren Roberts and Morgan State. Do they have a takedown here against the freshman Branson John? Roberts builds the base, grabs the left leg of John. John tries to get out of it, and instead, Roberts gets him down for the takedown. You see Kenny Monday pumping his fist right there. A big takedown for Darren Roberts. As the buzzer sounds, Morgan State wins their first bout. Three to two. Darian Roberts beats the freshman Branson John, and it comes with this takedown right here from the red shirt senior. As you can see, gets that left ankle, picks him off in the last second there. Branson John verbally and just physically upset about that one. Looked like he was in control for most of that one, Ryan, too, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, he had the riding time secured, right? He was the one that was really on top for most of that match at 174, but we're moving on, and this one is not going to be a shutout, Ryan. It will not, James. And it took us until 174, but Morgan State finally gets its first takedown, and it's in the biggest of moments. A 3-1 to one win for the redshirt senior, Darian Roberts, over the freshman Branson John of Maryland. So that one takedown is always needed for Darian Roberts to get Morgan State on the scoreboard, which will have a tough challenge now with Kingsley Manife going up against the ever-so-dangerous Jackson Smith. Smith looking for early points here. The number six ranked wrestler in the country at 184. He's at 197 last season, Ryan, but feels more comfortable at 184. We usually walked around at around 190, so moving up in weight was tough for him, especially going up against guys that were already above 197. Goes the swipe and the takedown for Jackson Smith. And Smith is looking to make this one quick. I mean, look, he's about to get another takedown here, but that's an escape point there, looks like, Ryan. Escape point first, so. Now Smith in position for another takedown. Quick one here. The consummate professional is what Alex Clemson calls Jackson Smith. Finished with the most dual wins for the Terps last year. I mean, no shock there. Guy ranked highest on the team for the entire season. Ten dual wins. Two-time Big Ten placer and a 2023 NCAA Blood Round quarter finalist. Jackson Smith, as good of a resume as it comes for Maryland wrestlers. Menifee got him in a critical position here, though. He's got that leg in there, and the referee is checking to see if this is potentially dangerous. Hasn't seen it yet, but looks like stalemate. Both up. It's gonna be a stalemate. No wrestler with an advantage there. But Menifee putting up a fight. Pretty good defense from Menifee. Yeah, the sophomore from Warrenton, Virginia, Fauquier High School graduate. Tries to go for the right leg. Well, that's textbook defense 
from Smith. Grabs the left leg, swipes it the right, and gets the takedown. Jackson Smith, a second takedown, about as clean as they come from the redshirt junior. Cartersville, Georgia native. 3-0, Jackson Smith is on the year. He's one of three That's wrestlers all. to go undefeated in all three dual, mate, dual matches that Maryland's participated in thus far. You got him and the Miller bros, if I'm not mistaken, Ryan. That are undefeated so far for the Terps. Ethan Miller picking up that Tiger-style invitational win. And Brother Cal oh, got God, that oh, last God. year, hey, like we face, mentioned. Okay. Green, green. Stay out Go of back the face, in the middle. Okay. Keep keep them it's all by bonus Set. points for Jackson Smith. Rare company with Maryland. It's a guy that's made his impact known here in College Park at the wrestling level. And like I mentioned earlier, him and Ethan have a business outside of all the school and athletics that they partake in. Smith is someone that really 40 seconds, is. guys, 40. Head coach Alex Clemson keeping a close eye on at 184. As Smith goes from the back and gets another takedown. Jackson Smith's third takedown. A guy who they're still unsure if you're seeing a better version of Jackson Smith at 184. Again, guy who was everywhere at 197 last year. But he did struggle to keep the calories and weight on him, head coach Alex Clemson said. So the jury's still out. If this move down to 184 is the best Jackson Smith, Jackson Smith will look. And we're only going to see, I mean, one of his here, few time. losses last year, which was very few, Ryan, was against a guy in Aaron Brooks who mm. competed at the Olympic level, made it all the way to the semifinals this past year, lost with a couple seconds remaining, but Aaron Brooks, great wrestler. Jackson Smith put up a good fight. Seven-point lead for Jackson Smith after the first period. Let's look at these last two takedowns from Jackson Smith. Just I mean, hooking the leg, getting the single leg. A lot of single leg takedowns we've seen tonight. Look at this, this even another hook of the leg. Eight. Just a different angle there What's is that? Smith with a seven-point lead. Looking to finish this one up Go in over. the second period. This sweeps for Smith and really learning too. Now as a redshirt junior, a captain for this Maryland team. Again, you mentioned Aaron Brooks, the Penn State Nittany Lion. You won't find many better, many better wrestlers on the face of the planet to go against. Smith is trying to use that experience to him as he gets the mat return here to start off the second period. And Kingsley Menifee's right, experience going the distance in these sorts of matches. High scoring tech fall in that match I talked about earlier against Marymount, the 40-10 win for Morgan State. Got a 30 to 14 tech fall, Ryan. Yeah. 30 points. High scoring. Put him up here. St still looking for his first point. Not by escape. As Jackson Smith wants another one via Take takedown down. and gets it on the outside of the mat. Man, if he's got to pick up on that move, Smith is using, he's doing his best, but it's the single leg takedown into that hook of the left to right <laughs> foot. Out, down. He's worked that all 104, night. 104, guys, 104. It's worked out. So we'll restart in the middle. Jackson Smith, four takedowns, has him up 12 to three. Got the riding time right now, Ryan, if things stay where they are. Yep. Stay set. Cover legal top. Man, if he's doing a good job, though, still on the defense. I mean, going up against a guy like Jackson Smith with such an early program at Morgan State, some people would expect a blowout, but. Improve here. And if he holding his own Neutral. throughout the second period. One gets minute. The, uh, escape point there. Smith lets Menifee get the escape point. Menifee's fourth of about so far, about four minutes old. Menifee just trying to push Smith off him. But Smith goes for the single leg attack. Now take grabs for the right leg and gets the takedown. Yeah, just reversal there. From Smith go around. Improve. Waste of Menifee. You're neutral, 30 seconds, guys. Jackson Smith looking for what would be his second consecutive win by fall. He beat Americans Lucas White by a fall, just 58 seconds in. Nothing yet. Looks like Smith tried a little misdirection no, there. He shot out, he shot Didn't out of bounds, it. attacking. Both out of bounds, going back to the center. Battle in bounds. Talked about how Smith Set. was at 197 last year, now at 184. So we're going to get the last couple seconds of the second period. Mm. Jackson Smith representing Woodland High School in Georgia. So take Good. that and give a 10 point advantage through the first two periods Third with takedowns down. that just keep Third on coming. Third yeah, the single leg here gets that angle. Another Both single wrestlers. leg, crunches it, wraps around there, gets the back control. 
Smith doing so well. Start Keep himself Start alive. Neutral. Wants to be another NCAA qualifier Fair. like he was last year. A Big Ten placer as well. Third and fourth in the Big Ten. He was as high as number three at 197 last year. You see that number six next to his name. The highest ranked wrestler on Maryland's roster at the moment by Intermat Wrestling. And only a few guys ahead of him. One of them was Aaron Brooks, like I talked about earlier, whose reputation at Penn State is one that I think people know nationally around the country. And Tanner Sloan was also above him as well. Smith goes for the double leg, Thank trying to throw Menifee on his back, and it works for another takedown. Down. So if S Smith keeps things where they are, gets that riding time, which is nearly secured, One no he'll get a tech fall win. Set. But I, th I think he wants more, Ryan. He's always hungry. A guy like Jackson Smith looking to make every match a win by fall. Would be his third win and a 4-0 record for Smith. So three wins by tech fall, I should say, and 4-0 overall if he's able to get that final point. Menfee gets another escape. 13 point lead for Smith. Jackson Smith One more takedown to do it. Yeah, not letting him Welcome get that guys. single leg. No control as Smith. <laughs> Gonna get that takedown there. And he does. How about Menfee tried to keep it on his own. Just using the left leg. But Jackson Smith Good luck stopping Smith. He did it at 197 last year, and he's still getting it done at 184 this year through four bouts. And I'm excited to see what the rest of the year holds. I mean, look at this, Ryan. Clinical work here by Smith. Takes his time, but is also in a rush to get things over with. Does it there. Showing another way why what at 184 is his division this year. And it's going to be interesting to see who's going to try and take that crown from him. As we're getting underway here, it's Chase Millman. As well as Eric Washington Jr. Milnick did well for the Terps last year. Finished ninth at the Big Ten Champs. Three straight wins for Milnick there. So a quick update too on our overall scoreboard. 34 to 3. So we're in three, a nice match as the takedown comes three. from Milnick and quick swipes coming. Looking for a quick pin, less than 20 seconds into his belt. How about a 20? Seven second pin for Chase Mielnik. Coaching staff loving it as well. Wow, what a win by for Milnick. Not a tech fall win. That'll be a win by fall there, just regular. Could you even blink before Chase Mielnik pulled off the pin? We weren't even able to introduce the Morgan State Bear, Eric Washington Jr. Ryan, I didn't even get to get through Milnick's bio before he put that one to rip, rest. Rip. And now pointed over to his coach, just satisfied with that. Milnick is solidifying himself at 197 this year, believes that he sits and walks around at a, at a higher weight, higher than 197, so it's more comfortable for him. So it just made sense for him and Smith to make the swap. Well, okay then, James. Let's just blink in. We're already back to the heavyweights now between Seth Nevels for Maryland, and he's going up here against Xavier Doolin. From Morgan State. Red shirt, red shirt junior, excuse me, and Xavier Doolin. And I'm surprised I've gotten their bios off, Ryan, before it's all said and done. So if you have anything else to add, you might want to add it now. Seth Neville, second year transfer from Penn State. Had that experience with Cal Sanderson and the Nittany Lion program. One of the best wrestlers of all time in Sanderson. Very few losses and not very many at the collegiate level as well. But let's talk about Seth Neville's first in Tiger style bout, 285 this year. Him and Ethan Miller for the Terps able to take home first place. All right, Neville's was the heavyweight champion there in Kansas City. So far, 6-0 and on the season. Neville's had a little bit of an injury last year as well. Ryan got two ranked wins, though, still. And he was very emotional after those wins. Just excited to be back on the mats, doing what he loves. Head coach Alex Clemson said that this was a really big offseason for Nevels, because he now knows what the Maryland wrestling program is all about, and has a chance to get healthy and really have his first full year, and will be his only full year with Maryland. Really experienced guy who just knows his body well enough, and now trying to articulate that into a full season with the Terps, and so far so good. 6-0 and for Nevels. He's the only undefeated wrestler for Maryland who's wrestled in every opportunity so far through dual matches and that Tiger style going all the way. And that's important to note, too, having you know, Jackson Smith and some of the Miller, the, the two Miller brothers um, haven't wrestled in everything, but Seth Nevels wants to make it known that he's not afraid of anybody, and 
he's going and wrestling any chance he can. Work through that. It was really Work impressive how he it was able to cap off that Tiger style uh, earlier between Nevels and Doolin are tied at 0-0 now, but it was a sudden victory for Nevels as just barely Xavier Doolin not able to get the takedown. Nevels beat number 23, Seth Nitzel of Missouri to win a sudden victory in the Tiger style finals. As Nevels working here, both wrestlers trying to get a sort of wrist control. Nothing yet, both in a neutral position. Defended really well there for Xavier Doolin, the transfer from the University of Northern Colorado. Redshirt Jr. from guess where, Kansas City. There we go. Talk about a great area with some seconds. great programs. Collegiate level, also at the professional level as well. No chance are let's go dueling from the traveling Bears fans in orange and blue. Quick trip down I-95 from Baltimore. Nevels throws off Newland. That was the number 15 ranked wrestler, as you see right there, of all heavyweights. Doolin probably going to shoot low here in a second. One of these two wrestlers trying to go low is going to cap off our first period. And still 0-0. No riding time really yet, Ryan, either. Green to first. Nobody's really had that control yet that we've seen. Second period, guys. Hold on top. Bottom of you, ready? See the sharp thing here? These are the ogres, the heavyweights, the big guys to end off the night. Don't jam into him when you get on him. Get on clean. I'll eat that Ogres have feelings, too. Give me a good clean start. Cover. Great move, just a great move. Yeah, I mean, I wish we could talk about Shrek for part of this night too, Ryan. I mean, we, we get to though, we get that opportunity because it is Shrek night, right? So. Yeah. Doing working on top. Riding time can be some, become so important in these heavyweight clashes. Often with low score, tight no, battles. Yeah, no takedowns yet, Ryan, but we're actually gonna see some of the first riding time ticked on here for Morgan States. Xavier Doolin. Doolin really doing a good job controlling from the top. How you doing? So far, Doolin's doing so well, but Doolin gets him on his back. And yet, against Seth Nevels, who builds up his base, working on the feet, and now looking for the escape point. Still would be the first point of this heavyweight clash. Doolin up to about 45 seconds. Let's cut the timer there as Seth Nevels picks up the escape point. And while Doolin just completely controlled that, but this one matters now. I mean, we're going to see Seth Nevels start to take away some of that riding time in a second. And once he gets back control, hasn't gotten it yet. He needs to take down first before you get the riding time up, or unless you start from the position. So that's why you see Nevels in control, but that clock still says 47 seconds of riding time for Doolin. And it's 1-0 lead right now for Nevels, so things stay where they are. Nevels is going to get the win despite Doolin having a little bit of control. So plenty of time to go here as the big takedown comes from Xavier Doolin. Second takedown of the match so far, and it comes all the way at the heavyweights for the Bears. As Neville's looking to get away from this. Gets an escape point here again, but Doolin gets one minute of riding time, Ryan. How about that? So he gets exactly what he needs. Still plenty of time to tick off for Neville's to decrease if he wants, but you saw Doolin just let him get the escape point there. Doolin's going to fight for a second takedown. Would be the first Morgan State wrestler with multiple takedowns so far tonight. And we'll take a look at how Xavier Doolin does it against the big man, Seth Nevels. Just so elusive. How about now? Him and Nevels just sprawling around there. Doolin ends up on top. The flip from Doolin to then get the three points. Huge move there. That comes from Doolin. And, and we know he just gave up that escape point, Ryan, but it's a clinical, smart move. But right back, Seth Nevels gets a takedown of his own. 5-3 now in favor of Seth Nevels. And Nevels going to look to get in control now. He's This is a ranked wrestler we're talking about, one of the best 15 wrestlers in the country at the heavyweight level. And what a win it would be for Doolin, but... Alex Clemson wants to see some swipes. The Maryland bench looking for it. Trying to get the near fall points there, Ryan. Yeah. Still well, Lisa stalling, and they do get the stalling on Xavier Doolin. 78 seconds left in the third period. And wow, have things changed. This is our last matchup of the night. From what we know, it's a heavyweight bout. Stay set. Cover legal. So Neville starts on top. Again, just a 
Escape and a takedown for Doolin would do it, but does he have it with just over a minute and change left to go in this entire contest between Morgan State and Maryland? Score more lopsided than these two teams met last year. A 35-6 victory for Maryland in Baltimore. Doolin's just wrapped up right now. See that left arm on the far side for Doolin just tucked in under Seth Nevels. He's going to have to get something here soon if he wants a chance to win this. And Nevels will flip the riding time as you Both see right there. Now it goes Both into the Maryland here. favor. Nevels up by two. They're looking for stalling. Nothing called. Motors let these guys go. And Nevels begin to add up the riding time. Nevels trying to flip Doolin's right shoulder back. You see Nevels using his right arm to try and get it on Doolin. He will just do it defensively. 20, 20 seconds, seconds left to go here, in our final bout. <laughs> now we're just working stalemate, on top, stalemate. and finally a stalemate will start things back in the middle. And I don't know, but I think that one should be a point, Ryan. Warning on the first time, and hmm. now we're going to go back to the center, but it doesn't look like we're going to get any points just yet. So it's still a close one. Take time to change things. For Doolin. Xavier Doolin needs to work lightning fast, not easy to do from a heavyweight position. Nevels won't let it happen. Ten seconds left to go. And Nevels can just hold him here. This one will wrap up, ticked away. He's got Doolin on his glutes for the final seconds of not only the heavyweight back, but of the overall match between Maryland and Morgan State. Just a decision for Maryland. But it's been those bonus points that made decisions like that the rarity for the Terps. Maryland. Nations off it's like 43 to 3. Let's see what happens with the heavyweights. As we just see him just sprawling around there. This was more much more entertaining match than I thought it would be, just because of how Seth Nevels is ranked and so much experience in college, but redshirt junior duel and almost has as much. So now let's take a look at the newest Eastern Intercollegiate. Wrestling Association members, the EIWA welcomes Morgan State, and that's what their schedule looks like. Upcoming some tough ones against Army, Pennsylvania, Hofstra, and Princeton. You got UPenn just right around the corner. It's a tough one to come off from Maryland, but they're going to try and see what they can do. Pennsylvania, a big state for wrestling and collegiate wrestling for sure, Penn State being at number one. Morgan State in its first year in a conference wrestling, but Maryland knows about its conference, the Big Ten for the Terps. Here's how their schedule will come out. No conference matches yet, but it starts with the George Mason Invitational coming up next month. Absolutely. You got Pittsburgh and then Ryder University as well. South Dakota State, too, to cap that one off. It's going to be on December 20th. That's how the two match. schedules look out for Maryland and Morgan State. Maryland starts 4-0 this season, the second time under Alex Clemson, it does so. You see Tyler Garvin put the hands up, and that's because Maryland pulls up the big win. Maryland beats Morgan State 43-3, to a big night of wrestling here for the Terrapins, and we thank you so much for joining us for the whole time on Big Ten Plus. Well, for our producer, Jacob Atkins, our director, John Iacovacci, and our entire Big Ten Plus crew, and my great partner, James Consoli, I'm Ryan Martin, saying thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you in <laughs> Bro, I cute and yeah. it? I'm 
உடனே ஆனா நீ மிஸ் பண்ணிட்ட எவ்வளவு ஜாலியா இருந்துருமா என்னைய அடுத்து என் கல்யாணத்துக்கு தான் வருவீங்க எல்லாரும் கையில அடிபட்டிருக்கியா அதனால நான் எல்லாம் செய்ய வேண்டியதா ஆ 